course, when you think about North Carolina athletics, generally this is what you think about. That's right. You think about the hard court. They won several national championships in basketball. And of course, they almost won one this past season. Now, of course, when you think about North Carolina athletics, you can also think about this as well. That's right. The gridiron. Won 11 games last year. Gave Clemson all they wanted in the ACC championship game. And it was an offense that was exciting to watch. A lot of people think that this year's North Carolina offense will be just as exciting. Yeah, there were a lot of things that North Carolina offensively did right in 2015. Of course, led the country in yards per play with just over seven. But also, too, they averaged 41 points per game, which was top 10 in the country. And this year, they'll have a new signal caller in Mitch Trubisky, who played a little last year through 49 passes and only had nine incompletions plus no interceptions. Of course, he's got to replace a pretty difficult act to follow in Marquise Williams, whom a year ago, of course, threw for over 3,000, ran for over 1,000. No question, he was a team leader. So that's a pretty tough act to replace. But the good news is, for Trubisky, he's got a lot of talent around him, including Elijah Hood, the all-ACC running back from a year ago, over 1,400 yards, and receivers, plenty of them with experience, Ryan Switzer, who could also return kicks. Offensive line returns nearly everybody, including John Heck and Caleb Patterson, a couple of all-ACC linemen, but they have to replace the All-American in Landon Miller. Under Gene Chizik, the North Carolina defense did show some improvement, but not in run D. They were one of the worst teams in the country when it came to defending the run, and they also gave up a ton of points in each of their last three games. And until the Tar Heels can win the battle of the line of scrimmage, they're going to continue to get run guys. So we'll see if the guys up front have gotten better in defensive end, the Jean Drennan, as well as the defensive ends, Najir Jones and Jonathan Clark. Linebacker would be the biggest concern for me because they lost their top two tacklers in Shaquille Rashad and Jeff Shetmer. So we'll see how Andre Smith handles the load and the true freshman, Jonathan Smith, who got some quality playing time by being an early enrollee this past spring. Secondary is going to be the biggest strength, top 20 last year in pass D, nearly everybody back, including M.J. Stewart, the talented corner. What the hell are we want to go to Texas for and haul beer back here? What is that? For the good old American life. For the money, for the glory, and for the fun. Mostly for the money. The Tar Heel schedule a little tougher than last year. Still open with Georgia, playing them in Atlanta. And keep in mind that even though the Heels don't play Clemson or Louisville on the regular season schedule, there is a date at Tallahassee against Florida State and what could be a rough three-game stretch for October. The Tar Heels offense will be just fine, but it's the defense that is a cause for concern. And I think that's why the Tar Heels will have a more difficult time getting to the ACC championship game this season.